Hi guys, welcome to the video today. I hope everyone's feeling okay today. Now, um, this video today is I'm going to show you how to create your own um, little app like this. It's not creating it, it's installing it onto your uh, server, whether it's uh, DigitalOcean or a Linode server or uh, another VPS that you've got. But you can actually run this very easily and it's, it creates uh, your own little game server that you can actually manage um, in the background and have friends, start them and stop them as much as you want to. So this is the one that I've got at the moment that I am running on my own server. Now I have a, um, a server, it's a Proxmox server. So it, there it is there, AMP it's called. So I've created, uh, created another one where I'm gonna basically show you how to install this. I'm just gonna demonstrate uh, what this does first of all for you. Um, in applications, you click create instance, uh, and I'm going to go for, um, I don't know, uh, let's have a look. Okay, so if I go for a, an armor free server, that's pretty uh, thingy. So it does say extra setup instructions there. So I'm going to avoid that one because there is a, a few things that you need to do on top of um, installing it. Okay, guys, so I found one. I've, I'm going to select um, Team Fortress 2, which is um, relatively sort of like popular game. It's still popular now. People play it. So uh, I'm going to create the instant right? and this will down in the corner will tell us uh, what it's actually doing at the moment. So it's fetching uh, the version there and it's fetch the version starting Team Fortress 2. So it's idle at the moment. Right? So there it is. Uh, and I'm going to click start and hopefully all being good. This should start pretty easily. Okay, So this is actually uh, running an update on the CMD to make sure that everything is um, okay and it's up to date. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this progress through. And once this is done and the service started, I'll come back to you. Okay guys, so it's still going now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed this little bit up for you so you can see it progress um, and then eventually start the server. Hey guys, so it's now back. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click start and hopefully uh, everything works uh, pretty well. So it's starting at the moment. As you can see, it's uh, going through the motions. Okay, it is gonna show my public IP address here. So I will blur that little bit out just to let you know what I'm blurring. Okay, and that's the server running. That's up and running now. So what you would need to do if you want to invite friends um, to play with you is you'd need to uh, forward all the ports. So you need to look up for the game that you want, uh, which there is loads of games. I mean, if I click here, you got a big list of games here that you can uh, do, including some popular ones like, uh, uh, if I go 5M, which is GTA modification. Obviously you'd need to modify it all yourself, but if you're confident in doing that, the downs, I mean, the cons of it is there is a license fee, which is 15 pounds, but that is a one-off payment. There's nothing to pay after that. You obviously get support if you need it later on, but it's, it's 15 pounds and it's really, really good. So now I'm going to stop the server because I'm not going to be using that. Um, I mean, if you go on, uh, I mean, this app, you can do it manually. These Some of these servers here, I've asked to set up manually uh, using like the commands and stuff like that. So there is currently two servers on, on the Arc server that I've got, not running, but they are clustered. And clustering can be complicated to do, um, but with this, with this app, you'll be able to sort of do it relatively easier and configure it a bit better. So what, uh, without further ado, guys, I'm going to basically go into um, my current AMP and let's have a look. So what you need to do to actually set the server up is you need to type this command here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to basically take it to the new server and paste it in there. And it's going to say this to you. Um, I am running um, Ubuntu 2310. On this so it says uh you can do this running uh that uh and gn uh root 
yeah so so i'm gonna basically run that that command underneath so i'll paste that and it will basically say that it needs uh one of these let's have a look it needs en I need to find engb that's the one there so i'll space that one and then i'll uh tab to go down to okay and i'm going to select that one there we go that's done so now what i can do is for the changes to take effect you need to type exit and then basically it will log you out and then log back in to this for this part and it will complete and you'll be able to run the command so yeah it's run so uh admin so i'm going to use i'm going to leave it as admin press enter and password super secret password uh, confirm password okay uh using docker is strongly recommended if you want to run windows based applications on the system so i'm going to say yes https enabled i'm going to put no um and press any key to install so this will now run through the installation same again guys i'm going to speed this up so it doesn't um obviously it doesn't turn into a 30 minute video because it's obviously installing uh prerequisites at the moment so, uh, and i did um, make a mistake earlier on so um the licenses start from around seven pounds ish um and you get five instances you can run i opted for the 15 pound one which you get uh a few more so if you want to obviously have servers lined up ready to go save waiting for them to download you can set those up um, and it just costs based on instances like i said guys i'm gonna leave this to run it will take a few moments um but i'll be back once it's finished hey guys so i am back and let's have a look so it's now saying please visit this this ip address uh to continue setup so i'm going to basically do that i'm just going to basically copy the uh ip address there copy open a new tab and paste it in there like so so you obviously use the ip address that it recommends you to go to with the uh double dots 8080 and then it will basically bring you here so uh i'm going to use the password that it uh that i set up so let me just move my mic away uh forward a minute so i don't knock it okay so uh click login okay guys uh just before i enter a key what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the website and show you how inexpensive the uh license keys are for this uh for this application so you got five instances which is um seven pound fifty fifteen instances now instances are the amount of servers you can have on the console at once um so that's how many you can have you can also use have unlimited panel panel users so they can use the panel um uh, so if you've got friends and stuff like that that want to access it you can set up a username password for them and give them certain access to that panel right so uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to blank the screen out over the key and i'm going to enter my own key so uh you won't be able to see the key okay so now uh basically i have to choose so controller target hybrid so i'm just going to use standalone guys because uh i'm not uh create local instances providing login services management and target ads instances <clears throat> i'm not going to use any of the advanced singers it's just one server i'm going to be using it on so it's going to be locally as well that's fine uh submit crash reports no point me ticking that on that uh, anonymous use data use enhanced license reporting no so i'm denying all those because i'm already doing it on the original uh server that i've got running so i'm just gonna click next apply the configuration changes all right so now it wants me to restart uh, amp which i want to do that now i'm just gonna leave this uh restart the first time i did this on the, my own server i had to reinstall it because it didn't restart properly 
So there you go, it's restarted absolutely fine this time. Um, so I just need to re-log back. Now if you set this up on a domain, you can actually configure this as you need it on your own domain name. So other people can access it outside your house. If you've got um, websites that's running on like Nginx uh, proxy manager, which I've got here, uh, where is it? Uh, Nginx proxy manager. You can basically set this up so it's external, so you can give people logins, they can set up their own servers, and then they can, uh, they can obviously, if they set up the servers, they won't be able to forward the ports. So just bearing that in mind, but more or less, you can get them to start and stop services and have the ports already forwarded. But yes, that's it guys. So this is fully installed now, as it was Singy. I'm just gonna do uh, Team Fortress 2 again. So let me just do this. Uh, Team Fortress 2, uh, install instance, um, and it's going to go through exactly the same thing as it did before, um, is configuring Team Fortress 2 on this server. Hi guys, this is Future Dino here. Just as a little thingy, um, when I went to install this application and you see me doing it, it did actually crash. So uh, basically what you need to do is You've got Docker actually set up on the actual system, but you need to disable it unless you're using Windows uh, environment or it requires Docker to use. So this was ticked, which was causing it to crash. So make sure that is disabled if you're not using uh, a Pacific Docker container. And just as a, a little side note for the networking, if you go into the configuration on the main screen and then go to local uh, well, instance deployments, uh, and then you got networking. Uh, if you come down here, just make sure this is set to the relevant uh, item for your uh, IP address. Set it to Docker, it needs to be in a Docker container. So uh, I've set mine to loop back. I'm not too sure if that works, but if not, just try one of the other settings. Uh, one of those settings will work because uh, I've got it on mine. So. Uh, that's future Dino out. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I um, hope you've enjoyed the video. Smash, don't forget to smash that like button if you like the video. Don't forget um, to subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.